What's happening guys, it's Grant here from Zeus Fitness and today we're going to be doing a leg workout and it's going to be a no repeat ball and dumbbell workout. We're going to be doing 10 exercises in total, 40 seconds of each to 20 seconds transition time to get you ready and in position for your next exercise. So without any further ado, we're going to get started. We're going to do a ball squat, okay, using the wall. This is where we pop the ball against the wall. Place it just between your shoulder blades. We're going to get a couple of dumbbells in our hand and we're going to squat down nice and low, pushing the butt end towards the corner where the floor meets the wall. Okay, and we're going to use some moderately heavy dumbbells for this. We're going to get in position. Ready to go. Three, two, one, and away we go. So keep the feet hip width apart, hips in line with knees in line with feet. Head facing forward, and as you're lowering yourself down, you really want to push your butt towards the corner where the wall meets the ground. Try not to let your knees creep out in front of your toes. Just take your time with these, make sure the knees aren't slipping out to the side. And try not to rely on the ball too much. I mean, you're not leaning really into it. It's just there to support you. And stop, good job. All right, up next, we're gonna do a split squat. So we'll keep these dumbbells here. We're gonna get a right foot forward, our left foot back. And we're just gonna lower the knee down towards the floor. Right angle to hamstring and calves. And three, two, one, let's go. So you wanna bring the knee down, either to graze the floor or about one centimeter above it. But make sure your front knee isn't going over the top of your front foot, okay? So you don't want to be turning into hip flexor stretch, okay? Straight down, head, line with hips, and line with back knee. This is what we're after. And stop. Okay, up next, keep that dumbbell handy. We're gonna be doing a glit bridge on the ball. All right, so we're gonna pop this on our hips. We're gonna roll forward. So the ball's between the shoulder blades and the back of the head is resting on the ball. We place the dumbbell on our hips, lower the butt towards the floor, and lift those hips right up towards the ceiling. Let's go. That ball stays nice and still. Spine kind of curls around the ball. So it doesn't move, the knees don't creep forward, ball stays still. We just lift those hips up as high as we can lift them. Stop. Good job. Okay, up next we've got split squat on the other side, so we need that other dumbbell back. So we the right foot forward last time, so this time we'll be putting the left foot forward. In position, and away we go. Another drill, head and line with hips and line with back knee, no folding from the, uh, the waist. Make sure we're getting right angles between those hamstring and calves. Knee comes down to graze the floor or one centimeter above, but don't be bouncing it off the floor. Because if you rest it there for a split second, you can disengage all the muscles we're trying to work. Stop. Good job. All right. What we got next? Ah. Okay, we got single leg curl. So we're gonna land our back. We're gonna pop our right foot on the ball, left foot elevated. We're gonna curl the heel in towards the butt as we lift the hips right up towards the ceiling. Let's go. Tricky one. If you're struggling with this, guys, 
you can always use both legs and then we come around to do the other side you can uh, use the just do the same exercise again if you can try it with one leg you want to come up so that your head or your knee is in line with your hips and straight line down to your head and stop okay so up next we've got an alternate side lunge once again i'm going to grab the moderately heavy dumbbell don't need much for this okay we're gonna pop this under the chin and we're gonna lunge out to the right back and then lunge out to the left and away we go Pop that away for now. Got a leg curl on the left leg this time. This one might be a little iffy with me. So, heel on the ball, right leg elevated. I'm gonna curl that in, lift those hips up towards the center. And away we go. Yeah, you will find one side might be weaker than the other. This is definitely. My weaker side, but this is why it's a good reason to do these. Get this one caught up with the right one. Okay, up next we're going to do a double rack squat. So let's take those moderately heavy dumbbells again. Or you can go heavy if you want these, but I'm going to use these. Rock them up in the collarbone. And we're just going to get the feet hip width apart and squat down nice and low. Three, two, one, and away we go. Ah, right, double leg curl. This was where it gets tricky. Fingers crossed I get this. I want one dumbbell, moderately heavy. I'd suggest set it behind you. Pop your feet. Oh, pop your feet in between it like so. Or each side of it. Roll forward onto your hands. Push up position. And then curl those heels in towards your butt. Now you gotta keep those feet together. That dumbbell doesn't slip. Might take you a minute or two to get in position for this one. It's a good little hamstring curl when you get it. You don't want to be right the way off the ball here. Needs to be belly button kind of centered with the center of the ball. And step. Okay. And Finally, we got alternate lunges, so let's grab the moderately heavy one again. And we're just gonna stand tall. We're gonna step forward with the right, bring the knee down toward the floor, step back, and go to the other side. Let's go, last exercise.
stuff. Okay guys, that's our legs taken care of. Hope you enjoyed that little workout. 10 minutes, nice and quick, never boring. If you enjoyed that workout, don't forget to hit the like button and leave us a comment below. We always wanna hear your feedback. Also, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss a Zeus Fitness workout again. See you all next time.